Well, it's uh, Thursday afternoon and we're Jeanette's just gone into a sixth week of isolation. I've, I've entered my seventh. Still got the shots, but Jeanette doesn't get out of the car and she stays in the car, reads a book, does the things that she should. I've started watching telly again, which is bad news. Oh, God. Now I hate television. It's just boring. I text people mainly, make sure they're all right. 23rd of June is when I'm going to uh, uh, say that I've had enough now. It'll be 12 weeks for me. I'm going to go head back home, start my life up again, lose a bit of weight because, my God, have I put weight on. Must put another stone on at least. But I'm buying food, I'm cooking every day. It's not like I'm out walking. So today I'm going to go uh, at least 4,000 steps. I was doing good, I was doing about 8,000 steps uh, just before the lockdown. It went down to 400 steps a day, believe it or not, as little as that. But I weren't carrying phone with me, I didn't have pockets in my pyjama pockets, so they couldn't count my steps. So Even at 400, you could make it 1,000 and that'd be about it. Young Felix is having a ball, he's never been fed like this in his life. Oh, good yawn. Oh. You're tired. I haven't done anything. How come you're tired? Mate, he's off. He's off, mate. Too warm, is it? And flies bugging you. And these are all the paint tins. Empty ones at that. That Jeanette needs to... Uh, take to skip when it reopens so she's been painting a fair bit this week well, <laughs> last seven weeks but I don't know hey off mate see you later oh what's that dumper truck ploughing to the wall down here for whatever reason Don't you get crushed drunk, mate. Goodbye. I think the roads are a, a bit less busy. Well, a bit more busy, shall I say, than they used to be. I think uh, it's a Thursday. It's going to be that weird bank holiday VE day. Uh, that's going to be about tomorrow. That's going to be Friday. But I don't think. I think it's very noisy for a, a road. So there must be more traffic, more people getting out there. Hell of a lot of builders, obviously. I'm just out for my uh, one hour walk. Trying to lose a bit of this weight. Uh, I must have put on the stone, stone and a half in the last seven weeks. Uh, I think I'm going to be alright. It might affect my diabetes, but uh, nothing much I can do about it. I'm eating the right stuff, or trying to. A lot of fruit, a lot of vegetables. Well, not a lot, the right proportion. And uh, hopefully, everything's going to. I'm walking past the hospital and going into the grounds, but uh, 
don't know if it's empty or what. Let's have a see. You've got to notice up here. Something's been cancelled. Car boot sale. In the grounds of Airedale Hospital, and it's been cancelled. So, that was just going to be a Sunday, July, right through to August. So, I think they still could do one in September, maybe August, even, maybe July, but I mean, that's pushing it a bit. Some poor sods going to the hospital. And what morons left that in the bush shelter? If we can get up that path, I don't know how far we'll get up, but uh, I'll give it a go into the woods and see how far it gets. See if I get lost. Hope not. Back there is Airedale Hospital, just between the trees and the bushes, and uh, in the far distance there's the uh, bypass to Skipton, and that looks pretty full, so there are people coming out, breaking the lockdown rules, but, uh, or maybe not, maybe the workers, key workers in the Jags. In the far distance, there is Kildwick. Uh, Kildwick Church is there in the far distance, and Kildwick Village on the hillside. This is my old stomping ground. I used to uh, live around here a few years ago before I moved to Halifax. This is beautiful up here. In the far distance mountains. I don't know if you can take it out on this camera because it's not a brilliant camera, but in the far distance, that's Sharpo. That's a, a, a mountain, uh, uh, yeah, I think it is a mountain just about in the far distance. I always get snow in winter anyway. It's over a thousand foot, so I think it's a mountain, but don't quote me on that. Hello. Some bluebells in the woods there. By a little brook. Apparently these woods are private. But I'm a very private person, so there you go. This is uh, Whitley Head, footpath to Whitley Head, I think it says Whitley, not sure, but uh, plenty of bluebells. Very beautiful looking anyway.
Well, just been through the woods. Uh, managed to get over the little stone stile over there, which is. I found it quite difficult, I must admit. It was. Them stones are moving ever so slightly. Well, I'll go over it eventually. Walk up here. I think I'm not walking on the path here. This, this, this is the path. And so I'm walking up to Whitley Head and then I go walk back down again to the other side and then uh, back home for tea. Doing fish and chips today, I think. I want to practice doing some potato rotis at some point. I mean, Yes, I'm going to make a mess of them because we haven't got a roti pan Oh and My knowledge of doing stuff is going to be impossible <laughs> So Thank you. You're welcome I should have asked him if I'm going the right way. It's always a good question to say to somebody. Am I going the right way? It takes them a while to work it out that they don't know where I'm going, so how do they know if I'm going the right way? Oh, getting over these bloody stones again. Oh, it's moving, I'm telling you. It's all moving. Oh, look at that, well up. Right, keep walking down these. Some of these apple trees, no doubt. Some pride and joy anyway. I wonder if they are apples. I shall take this video and find out. In the far distance, or the middle distance, is Silsden. Uh, the canal runs through Silsden. Where the houses stop is the canal. And in the dip in, in, the, dip in the valley, just below the new builds, is, um, is the River Hare. So it's quite a watery valley, really. Uh, and if you want to get a barge, you can actually hire a barge from there. The Silver Prince. Which is what I might do one day. Well, we're at lottery, of course. <laughs> Interesting hill. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. I didn't know you. I thought you. I thought you just come out this gate or something. I saw you walking that way. I didn't realise you'd come up past me. <laughs> Cheers. Hamlet out on its own. I think it'd be alright, but in winter it'll be a bit of a sort to get to and from. And again, maybe not. Shortcut down there, don't know where it's going, but 
we'll go. Yeah, dear me. Ah, to be rich would be nice, wouldn't it? I think I've missed the family. I mean, I didn't get to bring up kids. And there's one reason why I've never grown old that quickly. And kids must age you, I suspect. Yeah, a little chicken. You're going back to where you live. Hi chicken. Chicken. There you go. You don't see that every day. Well you do, if you work on a chicken farm. Or work with chickens. Or have a farm. That's right. Rhododendron. Oh, see, Jeanette. If you didn't cut your rhododendrons, Jeanette, all the stems, that's what they would look like. He said you've got a pot, a lot of full of rhododendrons, but no flowers. Back into the woods, she said. Back into the woods. came here two days ago very dangerous I wouldn't like to get stuck in the dark here people have been using it as a slide this by right, looks of things the kids not out Dangerous. <laughs> 